shore. One man attempts to gather them. His name was Jeff Stein, and he was a lawyer. Traveling across the island <laughs> with high school coach Naismith Keen. He saw an enormous volcano and moved towards it. But when he arrived, he found there was no volcano at all. At all. At all. At all. I could have sworn I saw a volcano. I, I, I heard it. I can smell my flesh. Bleeding with fire. <laughs> Flesh bleeding with fire? What did that smell like? I don't, never had lava on me, but as a kid, I always thought the red was blood, not lava. We found out last week that Mason <laughs> Keen had had 17 rum and cokes on the flight before it went down. Oh, was yeah. he still drunk? Oh, yeah, you were uh, pretty hammered on the plane. It's probably a good thing considering we crashed. I think my body went for the accident. Yeah, I got some whiplash. Yeah, you know, my dad was in two drunk driving accidents. Oh, really? All the sober people were killed. But my dad was so drunk, he just rolled with it. <laughs> Justice. Funny bitch. <laughs> <laughs> just like our luck to be stranded on an island. I mean, it's so ironic. I, I represent families of victims of plane crashes. Maybe stuff like here is just like God kicking me in the balls. <laughs> maybe he's uh, maybe he's testing us. Well, I'll tell you what, if you do get out of the same, I want to represent you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, normally I wouldn't be interested, but uh, that Keith Haring design you had on your your case makes me think that you're a lot hipper than you appear to be. Look. My wife and daughter died in a plane crash. That's how I got into this, okay? I haven't been able to get emotionally close to anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably stop drinking each other's urine since we found the fresh water, but... <laughs> Abdul Ahmad Askinazabad has a pocket full of those tiny liquors and a bunch of nutri grain bars. He thinks he's getting away with something, but in moments, Emily Lamb will discover what's going on. Sounds like a good plan. You should start to build one right away. We got shells and, and sticks. And that lumberjack, 
Go get him, cut down trees, tell him. I'll be over here, right here on this rock, sitting back, taking it easy. Abdul, you're making fun of me. Who's making fun? If I was making fun of you, I'd say, look at this shell I find. It looks like Branch Ricky. I'm sure that on some level, you and I see eye to eye. We have something in common. Really? You and I have something in common. Sure! <laughs> what? <laughs> But it wasn't going to be all right. It wasn't at all. Now, now, really, ladies, we, we've got to pull ourselves together. We've got to rally. It, it's going to be all right. Everything's going to be just fine. Look at old lady. That's right, you heard me, old lady. burning my skin and, and look volcano wasn't there a volcano over there I never saw a volcano but I could have been in shock I'm still shaking from the adrenaline I, I completely blacked out I, I don't know that plane crash I just I just woke up sitting on a log and, and now I'm on an island and I'm wondering who's going to be Who's going to be Gavin if I don't get home in your weeds? Sit down, old lady. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be all right. Were, weren't you just saying it was going to be all right? It, it's going to be all right. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Kevin? Oh, Kevin is my one true love. He's handsome and warm and he's got distinguished gray hair and we spoon every night. He sounds like a hunk. We've been together for 13 years, Kevin and I. At least you had somebody. That, that's unheard of in Hollywood terms. Oh, well, all you have to do is go to the pound and pick up a little kitty and sign for him and write a check. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's your cat. Oh, yes. He's such a lover. Great, I'm stuck on an island with a crazy cat lady. God, that's sad. You know what? <laughs> uh, back at the girls' school, every Tuesday night, we would read from self-help books. And I have this one book that I found to be very inspirational. I wish I had it here with me now. Is it, is it called The Trick? Yes! Have you read it? I wrote it. <laughs> I wrote The Trick. No! <laughs> Are you Dr. Mary? I'm Dr. Mary Morgan. I wrote the trick. I'm your Dr. Mary Morgan. I was Dr. I've been in such shock since the crash, but you know, in the trick and it is the key to life. You just think about what you want and you state it in the positive as if as if it's occurring. I am back in Los Angeles instead of holy shit, I'm fucked on this island. I am back in Los Angeles. Oh, that's that's the trick. Los and then the universe conforms to putting you there. Well, Dr. Mary, we've got to rally everyone around this, this magic force of energy. It's the trick. Well, why the hell haven't you manifested a goddamn boat that Well, I'm almost tired from the plane crash! Jesus Christ! <laughs>
Well, I think that this island can be a new republic, like, like that book Animal Farm, but with people. Now, I watched the National Geographic Channel nonstop for almost every day of my life, and I know almost every deserted island has a tribe of indigenous little people that are prone to brainwashing for treats and other sorts of mischief. So if we can find some sort of little people or weapons yeah. or yeah, a weapons. food source. I got these crabs Well, you should... right here. Oh, those kind of crabs. I've had the other. Not as helpful. So many crabs. Hold on. Here's what I say we do. Yeah. Until we find my hypothetical tiny people. Okay. We take everyone and we talk to them. We find their weaknesses. Uh-huh. And we turn them against each other. <gasps> because if everyone hates each other, <laughs> then at least they'll love us. I like your logic. Really? It makes complete sense. She had gone to Los Angeles and had only been there three days when someone at Men's Chinese Theater had handed her a pamphlet. Six hours later, she was on a game show where she was chosen by the coach in a random dating process. Due to a typographical error, they were sent to Ireland on flight 1812, and that's how she landed on the island. She'd never seen a man without a shirt before. <laughs>
understand why the poor guy was drinking it. Sitting next to a beauty like you would be kind of nerve wracking. Hi, <laughs> son. Sure, maybe, maybe you've got heat stroke. You look flush. I'm not. I'm not used to being with men who are so exposed. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea. I'm a, I'm a widower. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm trying to get over it, but I could really use someone to talk to. I'm, I'm gonna go for a swim. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on. There you go. You don't break on that thing. <laughs> Maybe I should bang it on your head. <laughs> Why would you say something like this? Because you got food. I've been banging this trying to open it up. Maybe I should throw it off against your head. Team handball style. <laughs> all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's death all around. Everybody wants to kill everybody. Everyone's gone crazy. Look, we all went through something terrible. Doesn't mean we have to go nuts and kill one another with, with cocoa bean. It's a coconut. You're a coconut. Listen. Ah, you got me. Yes. <laughs> I thought I was only holding hair. Hold on. Listen. Oh, no, you are. Yeah. <laughs> if you have more food, you better. You better give it up, my friend. What's it worth to you? It's worth to me. Yeah. What's it worth to you? It's worth helping everybody. That's what it's worth. Everybody will be fine. They'll figure it out, or they'll come to me. <clears throat> Ouch. You know what? When I first got to the the high school I was a gym teacher at, they gave me two choices. They said, you can teach the girls' softball team, or you can teach the, the boys' single tennis team. And I'll tell you, it was tough going back to that bar the first time after work to tell my other jock buddies <laughs> that I'd chosen the girls' softball team. <laughs> oh, yes, go on. Because that's a team. I want to coach a team. Not some individual, some inside his own head will eat shit. Yeah, I've seen male tennis players eat shit before. It's the get down weight and weight class. <laughs> Does it work? No. <laughs> You're wearing girl jewelry. <laughs> this is a family heirloom. This shows where I stand amongst my people. Yeah, well, you don't stand very high on this island if you keep eating those corn syrup filled goodies. They're loaded with oats and sorts of nuts, and they're held together by honey. Good for you, too. They're so dry. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Open up my eyes! I'll curb your goddamn head if you don't give me some!
Dr. Mary Morgan has drawn an elaborate diagram in the sand with her foot to show how different the secret is from the trick. <laughs> the others were still a little skeptical and had a few more questions. But that's when Logan Greenwood came on with some startling news.
on my hand because I touched the coconut. So. I want. I want to apologize. For. Uh, no, you're supposed to be hurt. Oh. Ah. Oh. Huh? Wow. This is hot. You. You really got me. You're, you're hurt. You know you're just. You're supposed to be hurt because you're a bad person, right? You, See, God, right? He's terrible. He's terrible. Yeah. He's terrible. Yeah. He doesn't know what's going on, drinking so much. Get it. Yeah, get it. Do it. She hit him again and again and again. Lower and lower on his body. Then worked her way back up. Until eventually she beat the memory of who he was right out of him. <laughs> he just said his name was Ben. <laughs> Can anybody hear me now? <laughs> Back on the beach, Jeff Stein was climbing out of the water where he found something interesting. But Emily Lamb found very interesting. Very interesting indeed. He'd also been swimming in the fuselage, but had a very different story. Yeah. Well, we should get it, right? Well, yes, I think. Mean, wait a second. Yeah. Yep. I'm being consistently titillated. <laughs> Captain, uh, I just swam out. I was uh, in the cockpit in the fuselage. I saw the black box, and I, and I think a beacon. We should go out. Well, I was just down there myself, and if I had to say that that was just a lunch pail. What if it was lunch? No! Emily, no! no. <laughs> is, uh, is a surprisingly good swimmer. Was she flying alone? Did she have a guardian with her? Or she was uh, a lord of the state? Or? It was a game show she was on. Oh. It was on her first date. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Captain. It's yes. so unpleasant out here! Just stay in the shallows! <laughs> Captain, uh, how long is it going to be before we get rescued? I am sure that the uh, you were communicating with the tower. It's just a matter of uh, maybe a, another day or two. No, I fear for the worst, see. I took a wee shortcut heading to Ireland. Went the other way around the globe, you know. Emily, boys. use your legs! <laughs> Oh, that's not good. I've got something heavy! That's a rock, dear. Put the rock down. It's shaped like a black box! Oh. It's, a, it's a black rock! Now, wait a minute. That's a box! No, it's a rock! Emily, swim! No! Swim. No! No! I'll help her! I'll help her! exactly how the trick was different from the secret. Everyone nodded in agreement, and then Angie Grimm and Abdul Ahmed Askizabad entered the beach area, carrying a bloody coconut. from within. From Everybody! Within. Oh 
my god, how did people like this? Coconut Island is haunted! Oh my god! Hey, wait, I got another one. There's no Santa Claus. Hey, Coconut Island is haunted. Oh my god, how did people like this? Coconut Island is haunted. Darling, you don't really practice that. Okay, okay. It's the blood of the coach. Uh, the coach was himself senseless. He killed him. What you, coach? You probably blew up the plane too, you and your kind. You just because he's brown? That's racist. What? Racist? I, I, you didn't call me racist all you want in the bloody coconut and the brown man. <laughs> just because someone's brown doesn't mean they beat people with coconuts. They're just brown, you have to understand. Oh, fuck you! No, it's different from the secret! It is different from the secret! The coach, bereft of memory, wandered down the beach and was found by Jeff Stein. Here. Your girlfriend, Emily, she was, she was, she went in the water. I think she fell in the black box, and then the captain jumped in and he, he tried to ground, drown her. I, I, I saw her then wash up on the shore and get further down, but I ran for help. Thank God you're here. Is this a movie you're describing? It's set in your head. I think it's dried blood on top of dried blood. Are you all right? Wait a minute, your eyes. Dilated. Did you get hit in the head? <laughs> I don't know. I just had blood all over my head. Who did this? Is this someone? One of them? There's I, something going on here. I think my mother did it. What? Ah. Was your mother on this flight? Are there more survivors? What flight? Coach. We crashed. We were flying to Ireland. We tried to go do a shortcut over the Antarctic. We crashed. You're here on a date. You won a game show. You think I'm gay. You're such a bad boy. Get in the cellar. Coach, <laughs> you hearing voices? Come on, focus, man. Coach, you all don't even make a little league team. Coach. Please. Coach, get a grip, man. I love you, Tom. You kiss like a fish. We've got to find Emily. <laughs> in there. Look, I made a horrible, horrible mistake. But right on the way over here, I hit control of delete on the autopilot. I don't know where we are, but if you press that button, it'll beacon anyone around. But we're in the South Pacific. There could be pirates here. You don't like pirates, do you? You're right. Here, have some more notes. Oh, I was just about to summon pirates. I'm so sorry. I'm 
so glad you've seen the error of your ways. <laughs> Look, let me keep an eye on the black box. I'll see if I can, if I can fix it. Just, just let me play devil's advocate for a second. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 